Hi, I'm Justin Romsberg. And I'm Kenneth Plank. And today we'll be talking about frequently asked questions and common troubleshooting topics related to the PSS shaft seal. Stay tuned for more. All right, so one of our more frequently asked questions is what kind of maintenance should be expected on a shaft seal that's in perfect working condition? Good question. Um, in general, very little maintenance needs done on the shaft seal in general. Uh, the carbon and stainless components would rarely need replaced. Uh, we have many commercial vessels recording 15 to 20,000 engine hours on original components. Although you should get 15 to 20,000 engine hours out of your main sealing components, we do recommend swapping out the rubber bellow as preventative maintenance every six to eight years. For that, PYI has come up with a PSS maintenance kit, which includes a replacement bellow, hose clamps, set screws, and O-rings, as well as clamp jackets. It is recommended when replacing the rubber bellow that you swap out all minor components as well with the PSS chassis. Kenny, is it recommended to reuse my set screws when making an adjustment or reinstalling my PSS shaft seal? The set screws provided by PYI are not recommended to be reused. They are a single-use set screw only. This is because once the cupped point flattens out, it will not bite into the shaft as tight the second time, thus reducing the hold strength. Each stainless steel rotor contains four set screws. All set screws are recommended for replacement at any time there's work done to the shaft or the bellow needs any additional compression added. During operation, there seems to be a high-pitched squeal coming from the shaft seal. Is this typical and what can be done to remedy the situation? The first step is obviously determining if the sound is in fact coming from the shaft seal. And if so, it's most likely caused from the shaft seal running dry and you'll want to correct the plumbing to the seal. Fortunately, the PSS shaft seal uses high quality carbon and stainless steel sealing components that won't melt or catastrophically fail with the loss of water. Kenny, when installing a new PSS shaft seal, is there a break-in time or period that I should be looking for? In general, with the PSS shaft seal, there's roughly a one hour break-in period. During this break-in period, the stainless steel rotor will be turning against the carbon face, thus polishing and creating a good mating surface. After this one hour break-in period, there should be no misting or no dust and the seal should be operating as normal. And my shaft seal seems to be looking, leaking at rest before I fire up the engine. Is there a reason for this? If the shaft seal is leaking at rest, it's likely due to foreign material that's got between the stainless steel rotor and the carbon sealing face. To clean this material, we'll momentarily separate the faces and carefully slide a rag between them, working it around the shaft five or six times. This will clean out the debris. While doing this, the water coming in uh, will flush the faces, and once the sealing faces are back in contact, the leaking will stop. Kenny, my shaft seal is beyond the noted break-in period, and it doesn't leak at rust, but I find it's leaking during operation. What might cause this? Normally, when a shaft seal is leaking underway, it's due to a lack of compression on the bellow. On a new installation, the recommended three quarters of an inch and one inch of compression depending on your shaft size, is strictly a recommendation and does not work on all both makes and models. In order to remedy a leaking seal underway, we generally go, go in, give yourself a mark on the set shaft just in front of the stainless steel rotor. Once that's there, go ahead and remove all four stainless steel set screws from the rotor and compress an additional one eighth to quarter of an inch. Once, it, once you have recompressed it, use brand new set screws to reattach the stainless steel rotor to the shaft. At that point, this should remedy the leaking and your shaft seal should be in perfect working condition. So I've got a slower speed vessel that never exceeds 12 knots. Do I need to run a positive water feed to the seal? In most cases, a slow speed boat that does not have a bearing in the shaft log does not require positive water feed and can simply be vented. Ideally, the vent line will run approximately two to three feet above the water line, uh, ideally around the center line of the boat to ensure the open end of the vent tube is always above the water line, even if the boat is healed. Review the PSS shaft seal installation instructions for more details on venting your shaft seal. I'm going to be installing a PSS shaft seal on a power boat that frequently travels over 12 knots of speed. Do I need to run a positive water flow to the PSS? Yes, for high speed vessels, it is required that a positive water supply be plumbed to the PSS shaft seal for purposes of lubricating and cooling the sealing faces. There are many sources of water supply You'll want to review the PSS shaft seal installation instructions for more information on plumbing the seal and note all plumbing standards and practices should be followed. 
Thanks again for watching. Again, I'm Justin. And I'm Kenny, and that was our PSS FAQ video. Should you need any further assistance, feel free to drop a comment in the comment box below, or you can shoot us an email at, at info at pyiinc.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.